Okay, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite uh, all-time math properties. I know that's probably pretty strange. You're like, boy, you really have a favorite math property? Boy, you must not have a life. Well, actually, I do have a life, but this particular property is excellent, and you absolutely must know this property to pass algebra because you're using it all the time. Now, you can see here, I kind of have this property set up. So I have A, parentheses, B plus C, so if you know what this is, what this other side of the property is, this whole thing together would be the actual property. I just kind of given you a little bit of a hint. If you know what this is equal to and you know the name of it, well, then you know what I'm going to be talking about. But if you're like, hmm, I don't know what you're going to be talking about, well, stick around for a couple of minutes. You're going to learn something that is extremely important, and I'm going to really emphasize um, this particular property uh, because you absolutely really need to master it. Okay, have it, you know, it's just everywhere in algebra. But we can do uh, some really cool things outside of algebra with this particular property as well. And I'm going to show you all of this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you are taking a middle school, high school, or even college level mathematics course and you need help, I can definitely help you out. If you are taking an exam that has math on it, uh, for example, the GED, HiSET, TASC, uh, ACT, SAT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, ACCUPLACE or CLEP exam, ALEX exam, you get the idea. There's a lot of exams out there and they all have math on them. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very uh, comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes to study from, you know, how are you going to study if you don't have notes? Well, you can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. Hopefully, you don't need my notes because you need to be taking great math notes. I've been teaching math for decades. And those students who take great math notes almost always do outstanding in mathematics. So focus in on your note taking. You'll thank me later. Okay, so... Uh, if you want to think about this for another uh, minute or not even a minute, a couple more seconds, you know, maybe pause the video and see if you know what I'm talking about here. But I'm going to get into it right now. So what am I talking about? Well, there you go. I'm talking about the distributive property. This is one of the most uh, widely used uh, important properties in mathematics and algebra. Okay. Now, every property is important. Okay. You're using a lot of different properties all the time. But the distributive property is just constantly being used in algebra. And let's go ahead and actually write it here. So I have A, parentheses, B plus C. So we're doing like multiplication here. So how can I do this? Well, I can distribute this A. So it's, this can, I could rewrite this as A times B, all right, plus I can also take this A and multiply it by that C. So that's going to be A times C. And I can also, uh, this also applies you know, with uh, subtraction as well. Okay, when you have a sum or a difference, a number times a sum or a difference, uh, this is how the distributive property works. All right, now it seems pretty um tame on its you know surface level and i'm going to give you some examples of uh, where we use this in algebra you're probably already familiar with this but first let's talk, take a look at um, how cool the distributive property is just by using um, uh, arithmetic examples okay so here is 2 times 15 so now instead of writing uh, 2 times 15 this way right of course, 2 times 15 is 30. So all of us probably are like, yeah, yeah, that's easy. That's uh, 30. But let's toy around with this problem using the distributive property. So let's break up 15. Uh, let's break it up into a sum, and let's break it up to a difference, and then we'll apply the distributive property. So I'm going to take 15 here, and I'm going to say, all right, uh, let's think of this as maybe 10 plus 5. All right, so 15 is the same thing as 10 plus 5. But now I have a sum. Okay, this would be like my A, this would be like my B plus C. Okay, so now I can use the distributive property to, to uh, do this multiplication problem. So it would be 2 times 10. I'll write it out this way, 2 times 10 plus 2 times 5. All right, so you just follow the pattern of the distributive property. Now let's solve this. 2 times 10 is 20 plus 2 times 5 is 10. 20 plus 10 is 30. Okay, pretty cool. We knew that uh, that would be the case, but you can see here that, wow, you know, we kind of did this in a different uh, approach and we got 
uh, the same answer. Let's do the distributive property again, okay, but let's, this time we'll use a difference. And this would work with any number that you can come up with, all right? I'm just coming up with examples. So let's do something else here. Uh, 15 could be, uh, let's say, uh, 20 minus 5. Okay, 20 minus 5 is 15. Again, you can use any infinite number, uh, sum, or difference. By the way, I can have... Uh, like, for example, 15, I can write this as 5 plus 5 plus 5. Matter of fact, we'll do that next here. Okay, so we'll see how this works with multiple values. So 20 minus 5 is 15. So 2 uh, times 20 minus 5. Again, this is like A times B minus C. This is a distributive property situation. It's a, an outstanding, excellent uh, way, uh, hack, if you will, to multiply uh, some uh, number by sum or difference. So this would be 2 times 20. Let's write it out this way minus 2 times 10 all right let's see what we come up with 2 times 20 of course is 40 40 mine is um oops i have 10 i'm sorry look at that see i caught myself making an error 2 times 5 2 times 5 that is 10 so 40 mine is 10 is of course 30 30 and 30 all right so there you go. This is an illustration of how to work with the distributive property with arithmetic. So if you're, you know, dealing with a problem, you know, let's say you don't have a calculator handy and you got to figure out what six times four twenty-three is, and you're just like, uh, you know, I don't want to mentally figure that out. You could break this up as six times four hundred plus twenty plus three. Okay, so you just figure that out. Six times four hundred plus six times twenty plus six times three. And that's a much easier uh, arithmetic, you know, uh, uh, set of problems to do or to think about this. You can just quickly, oh, 6 times 4 is the same thing as 24. So that's 2,400 plus 6 times 2 is the same thing as 12. That's 120. 6 times 3 is 18. I add all this up and I'm done. Okay, instead of going 423 times 6 and going through all that stuff, you can take this approach, but you can also you know, uh, take this approach as well. But let me go back to um, uh, this problem here real quick. Let me just erase this and show you that we can write this 15, okay, or anything here um, as a sum of as many things as I uh, want. So let's do it this way. 2 times 5 plus 5 plus 5, okay, that of course is uh, 15 as well. So I'm just going to distribute this 2 to all of this. So that will be 2 times 5 plus 2 times 5 plus 2 times 5. Boy, that's a terrible 5. Let me write that a little bit better. Okay, so here, 2 times 5, of course, is 10. Plus 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 2 times 5 is 10. 10, 10, 10 is 30. Okay, so this is the distributive property. It's um, out, and it's an outstanding uh, property, not only for algebra but for arithmetic. But let's get into some algebra now, and let's take a look at a problem like this: two times uh, x plus three plus four times x plus uh, two. Okay, so here, all right, I'm looking at this algebraic expression and. Right now, I can't really do anything with this. I'm like, I'm supposed to add this. I don't know what to do. Well, the distributive property, it's one of these things that anytime you see parentheses, okay, like so, and a number outside of parentheses and there's a variable inside, that's an indication that you have to apply the distributive property because I can't add or subtract or do anything with these terms until I apply the distributive property. Then I can see all the terms, you know, in their uh, independent kind of way, then we can kind of do things with it. So let's apply the distributive property here. So that's 2 times x. That's 2x plus 2 times 3. That, of course, is 6 plus 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 2 is 8. So the distributive property allows us to actually get to the terms. Okay, we this, instead of having this, I have this. Instead of having this expression, I have this. And now... I can look at these, look at the result of applying the distributive property and actually combine like terms and numbers, okay? And this is so important in algebra, so 2x and uh, 4x is 6x plus 6 and 8, of course, is 14, okay? So 
all of, all of this here is equal to 6x plus 14. So uh, the disturbed property is absolutely everywhere, almost just, you know, there's, I can't even think of uh, many areas, areas of algebra that the distributive property is not there. It's one of the most important, widely used properties in, um, in algebra. Now, there's other properties that you're using that you're doing things that you don't even realize there is a mathematical property that justifies what you're going on. But in terms of practical application, this is so, so important that you master this. And a lot of students get confused uh, with the distributive property. I think they understand it, okay, because I've, I've been teaching math for decades, so you you know, you see, like for me, I probably graded maybe 100 million test quizzes and homeworks. Well, maybe not that many. You, you get the idea, right? A lot. <laughs> so here's a typical mistake with the distributive property. Let's look at a problem like this, uh, 4y plus 3, okay? Now, of course, if I was to use the distributive property here, the answer is going to be uh, 2 times 4y, uh, of course, is 8y plus 2 times 3, is six, but what ends up happening, I see this quite frequently when students uh, um, are first learning the distributive property, they'll just write a three, okay? And I don't know why that is. They kind of apply the distributive property here, okay? But then they forget to apply it with the second number. So remember, you're gonna have to just concentrate and uh, make sure you fully distribute this outside value uh, to all this internal stuff, all right? So this would be eight, y plus 2 times 3 is 6. So that's uh, one error that I uh, oftentimes see. Also, when you're dealing with negative values as well. So let's take a look at something like this. All right, negative 2 times uh, 4y minus 3. So this negative 2 is going to be multiplied by this 4y. So that's negative 8y. And this negative 2 is not being, this right here, when you're multiplying this negative 2, it's not just by this number, okay? the sign counts as well. So if this is a subtraction situation. We're really going to be multiplying by a negative 3. So if you needed to, you can just look at this as plus negative 3 if you needed to think of it that way. But just remember, when you're applying the distributive property, this difference operation or subtraction operator is a negative number. Okay, It's a, it's a negative value with this number. So negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call it a wrap right now with the distributive property. Um, again, if you need more help with this, uh, I have tons of videos on this in my YouTube channel under my pre-algebra playlist, or maybe you just want to take one of my uh, math courses like pre-algebra or algebra one. But the bottom line is you absolutely need to understand and appreciate the distributive property. And if I did my job pretty well in this video, you're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll uh, consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. My goal is always try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please take advantage of the content that I've made and the content that I will be making. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.